Hello, welcome to Law Talk. I'm Matt Hamilton. We're talking about Independence Municipal Court. Uh, there are several municipal courts and circuit courts in Independence. You need to know which one you're going to. Independence has three major courts. Uh, first of all is Independence Municipal Court. These have to do only with police officer tickets from the city of Independence that are citing citizens, okay? If it's a sheriff's deputy's ticket, you're not going to Independence Municipal Court, you're going to the, to the Municipal Court of Jackson County. If it's a highway patrol trooper, you're not going to Independence Municipal Court, you're going to the Circuit Court of Jackson County at Independence. So it's important to know that distinction. The way you tell is look at your ticket and look on the upper left-hand side. If it says Independence Police Department with that Independence Municipal Police uh, Municipal Court address on it, that's the right court, okay? The Independence Municipal Court is a different location than the Circuit Courthouse. Independence Municipal is several blocks north and east of the square, okay? I'm flashing the address of the Independence Municipal Court up there. Put that into your GPS and go there. Don't go to the Circuit Court because that'll just throw you off, all right? Uh, Independence Municipal has multiple dockets on multiple days per week, depending upon the type of charge that you're doing and the busyness of the docket. Do not expect to be able to call in to Independence Municipal Court, get a hold of a clerk, and be able to handle everything. That city is underfunded, the court is underfunded, you have too few people handling too many cases. So it's very difficult to handle anything on the phone. That's been a struggle of lately, and it's not their fault, they just simply don't have the finances to afford all those people to handle all those cases. You're gonna have to resolve your case in court, all right? Now, when you go to court, try to show up about 10 to 15 minutes early. You're gonna walk in the front doors, and it's gonna be like a little anteroom lobby hallway area. Then walk in through the double doors again. So through glass door, double doors, there's gonna be the lobby. Go through the wood double doors just past that. You're gonna see a big room with a big table at the front. And in that front, in the elevated table, there should be an Independence Municipal Court clerk. Go in there and check in. Let her know who you are. She will pull your file and put you on the docket. The importance of showing up 10, 15 minutes early is you're placed on the docket um, sometimes before everybody else. Therefore, your case gets called sooner. Therefore, you're in and out of there quicker. It's a more efficient use of your time. Dress appropriately for Independence Municipal Court. Act as if you're going to church. I see some people wearing pajamas into court, wearing sweatpants, uh, men that have dirty jobs coming in covered in dirt, covered in grime. Don't do that. Women dressing very provocatively. Don't do that. Nobody's impressed by that. You're not going on a date. Uh, this isn't your home where you just hang out in your underwear. Dress appropriately for court. The court will recognize that you're showing it respect and it will show you more deference, okay? It's in your own best interest to dress appropriately. Now, also showing up for time. Don't show up late. You're just gonna get punished for that. It's a bad idea, all right? Uh, once they call your name, go up there and you can tell the judge what you need. Waiting and uh, continuances are common for Independence Municipal Court defendants. Uh, they're not going to give you one over the phone, so don't even bother calling. Uh, if the judge will likely give you a continuance, if it's your first request. Uh, if you have multiple requests, putting things off more than two or three months, the judge is going to want a really good reason for that and not some big emotional story uh, that you're making up. It's not gonna work. Good reasons would be uh, you've budgeted the amount of money, you're halfway there, you're two thirds of the way there. Uh, if it's a wreck case, into, uh, insurance handling at all, or if it's a driving while suspended case, uh, getting your license back through a suspension period. Those are all good reasons. Everything else generally is not. Um, there are three types of punishments handed out in Independence Municipal Court fines, jail time, and probation. Your fines will go up to $225. The, the, uh, the jail time can be days, weeks, um, but it's not typical for them to sentence people to jail in Independence Municipal Court. They can, they've got their own jail, and in fact, they do it. But the typical person is not facing jail time. 
uh, a more likely result would be a probation period where the judge actually sentences you, you to jail, but then suspends the imposition or sip, suspends the execution of that sentence and uh, makes you promise to do certain things like not get arrested, not get charged again for two years or complete a class. For example, um, you know, you could have a larceny class, you could have, which is shoplifting, you could have a alcohol drug education class, uh, or more likely, say for example, it's a DWI, you have to complete the SATOP program and have to complete the victim's impact panel. Uh, these are typical classes for those types of charges. If you keep clean, don't get arrested again, and do your classes, you'll have no problem, you'll probably pay less money, and uh, you know, it'll, it'll be a better result for you. You may even be able to keep it off of your record. Now, do you get a free court-appointed attorney? In Independence Municipal Court, 99% of the time, you do not get a free attorney. In my humble opinion, you wouldn't want one if you got one anyways. You don't want to be in that position. In order to get a free court-appointed attorney, you have to have two things. Number one, you have to be found to be indigent, having no money whatsoever and no means to get it. And secondly, the prosecutor, Mitch Langford, who's an outstanding prosecutor, has to give a formal stipulation to the court that he's seeking jail time in your case. If he says, hey, I'm just going to convict her, I'm going to fine her money, but I'm not going to throw her in jail, you don't get a free court-appointed attorney. Okay? Can you handle this on your own? Can you negotiate it yourself? I'm afraid this is not Kansas. You can't do that. Uh, first of all, your prosecutor's not gonna talk to you because he cannot offer you legal advice and anything you say to him is an admission against you. So there's an old expression, an attorney that represents themselves as a fool for a client. Um, it's a good point. You shouldn't be representing yourself and you in all likelihood won't be able to. Uh, but there's a simple free solution to that. Simply call an attorney like my office or some of the many attorneys in independence and ask them advice as to what you should do. No one's getting rich off independence municipal court. So if your case is so small that you can handle it yourself, the attorney will go ahead and tell you that, probably not even charge you for the time. And so uh, you, it's a free call for good advice. Now, a lot of times you are better off hiring and spending the money to get your own attorney. You don't like to spend the money, but better to spend a little bit early than much more later on. For example, with traffic tickets, uh, permanent records on your driving record and permanent records on your criminal record can, will raise your insurance rates and cause future problems for you. For example, a prosecutor looking at a future case yours is gonna be more harsh to somebody with a dirty record than somebody with a clean record. So you wanna keep your record clean, okay? Now, also with drug charges, DWIs, you can have more punishments down the line. It can affect your ability to get a job. It can affect your ability to get loans. Keeping your record clean is an important asset uh, for the modern world. And if you can have that option, which you do in Independence Municipal Court, take the option, okay? Now, <clears throat> Payments are pretty simple there. Um, when you go in, expect to wait in line to make a payment. Courts take checks, they take cash, they can do a credit card. Um, there typically is a rather long line to get in to make the payments. So try to get to court a little bit early so you can get to that line. Um, and the sooner you get out, the better, because um, there is a significant line there. Uh, don't show up with no money. I see some people showing up and say, gee, I'll get to you later this afternoon or can I do it tomorrow? No, you can't. You're just causing trouble for yourself. Plan ahead. Well, that's Independence Municipal Court. I hope it's been informative. If you have more questions, feel free to give me a call. Um, we'd be happy to help you. Uh, there are also a number of independence lawyers that handle this place as well. Um, this is Law Talk. I'm Matt Hamilton. Have a great day.